For those of you who are new here, my name is Denali and basically I just do a ton of lifestyle, fashion videos and a lot of vlogs because I love to do that. So welcome and today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite jeans and doing a jean collection video. These are all pairs of jeans that I've kind of gathered over the years and some are really new. Um, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. This video is for all of you girls who are on the shorter side. I myself am 4'11", maybe 5 feet, I don't know. I think I'm 4'11", but whenever I go to the doctor, sometimes they tell me I'm 5, sometimes they tell me, oh, you're 4'11 and a half. Anyways, this is for you girls that struggle to find jeans that will properly fit you, whether you have like bigger thighs like I do and a skinnier waist. It's sometimes really hard to find those jeans, even for tall girls, I feel like that kind of snug you in at the waist but are big enough around the thighs and just kind of hit you with the right length. So these are some of my go-to jeans that I know I can depend on and trust in the brands to rebuy in the same size and know that they're gonna fit me even if I'm ordering online. Um, so let me show you guys some of these jeans. The first pair I have are actually from Gap and they are black. They are the cigarette high-rise jeans and you'll see them on in the try on but these are a size 25 zero regular so they are the regular length but they come down they're kind of wide at the bottom and they kind of taper off and have like little threads hanging down I really like the way they fit as you can see um, they're kind of shorter so I think they're definitely supposed to be cropped on people of normal height but for someone like me who is 5 feet or 4'11 it is really they hit at the right length to be kind of that um, just like square straight leg jean without them being super like baggy so they like hit me at the right place in terms of like my thighs and like make me look a little bit slimmer than most I think wide leg or straight leg jeans would so that's why I really like these I will link them down below they're not super black they are more of a charcoal black so they have those tints of gray in them but these are great do love them next up are these jeans from abercrombie and fitch guys i swear to you no matter how tall you are especially for short girls abercrombie has the best affordable jeans i've been shopping for jeans there forever and i feel like it's so underrated i still love them these are <laughs> Uh, in a zero small, sh zero short. Um, so that's the trick. If you guys are shorter, to buy the normal length jeans that aren't cropped at Abercrombie, definitely get them in short because you won't have to roll them up the bottom. I'll show you in the try on. I do roll them up a little bit if in case you like that, but when I personally wear them, I don't ever roll them up. These are specifically, I'm gonna have to find these online and look for you guys. I've had these forever. So they are, I think, just like the skinny high rise. And they have, I will link them down below. They have little like rips and they just go down and they're skinny and they're a dark blue. They've definitely faded. I've had these for years. So when you buy them brand new, they will be a little bit darker blue than this. I do like darker jeans when I'm wearing skinny jeans. I think they're more flattering. So love these. I wore these all throughout college. So they're high waisted, which is really nice. And yeah, love these. And I think I got them on sale, so they weren't super expensive. They're probably, I want to say no more than 50 bucks. The next pair I have are also from Gap, surprisingly. Um, these are 24 regular. They're the easy leggings jeans. They are super stretchy and skinny, so they're super flattering on. They definitely hug you in if you like how toned your legs are. These will definitely fit you snug and well. I am obsessed with them. As you can see in the try-on, they are darker blue. My only complaint with these is I wear Air Force Ones a lot, and definitely give these a good wash a few times the first time you buy them because they do shed in color a little bit so the tongue of my air force ones on the inside kind of where like my jeans would hit the shoe 
are definitely a little bit blue. You can get them out if you just wash your Air Forces, but um, I would be aware if you wear lighter color bags or anything purses, when you first buy these, they might rub off. It does come off just some water and good scrubbing, but other than that, with the fit of these, I'm obsessed. Probably my biggest steal in terms of price coming in at $39.99 are these Zara jeans. Zara, you guys, is my home for jeans a lot of the time. I have a ton of pairs from Zara. These are definitely my most worn, which is why I'm showing them in this video, but anytime I go for like a statement jean, definitely hit up Zara. They have great options and since they're so cheap it's definitely worth they're great quality too i've had zara jeans that have lasted me forever definitely just a go-to in terms of jeans these are a straight leg pant i will link them down below because i don't know what they're actually called but they as you can see in the try on they have rips at the knees these aren't the ones that are trending on tiktok I got these before that because those ones are the wide leg ones and these are straight leg. Um, so I think these just fit if you're shorter just a lot better and are definitely more flattering. And they're, they, these I didn't have to cut. They came at the perfect length. So they honestly might be cropped as well. But love these. They are super thick. I will say, you can see in the try on that like they're a little bit loose in my waist. But these are a US 4 which I feel like for me at least, I'm normally a size 24, 25, or a zero in most jeans across the board. But with these at Zara, I tend to fluctuate depending on the type of style that they're selling. And in these, I am a four. And usually I'm a size up anyways. I think most times in Zara jeans, I'm a two, if not a four. So just, I recommend definitely sizing up one or two if you're buying from Zara denim and maybe order two sizes if you're not going in to try them on in the store and just plan on returning one but I'm obsessed with these these are the jeans I wore like every day as my straight leg jean before the next pair I'm going to show you they do have rips which I like so they're perfect for summer so I guess less in the winter but they do come without the holes in the knees as well so I will link these down below. These are a go-to. I have these in a ton of my Instagram photos. I love them. They're super comfy too and stretchy. Uh, what I was saying about the waist is uh, they're a little bit bigger because I've worn them at, I've worn them a few times without washing them. So they definitely do stretch the more you wear them, which is why I wouldn't go any smaller than those even though they look big on me just because when I wash them they're definitely super tight and harder to get on so that's why. So lastly for my staple jeans and jean collection I recently picked up these denim form jeans um, they're the Arlo High Rise Straight in a 28L from Aritzia and I am obsessed with these. These were I think $113 um, so they definitely are the most expensive jean I think I have in this haul video. But you guys, I will keep these forever. You can see they just fit so well. They're like this at the bottom and they just come all the way up. There's no rips in them or anything. I picked them up because I wanted a jean that was more for the winter time. But that was a lighter wash. And even just one if I ever need like to go somewhere and I don't necessarily want to have rips in my jeans. Um, these are perfect. I'm obsessed. They button. They do have the buttons, which I thought was going to be kind of annoying, but actually they're super easy to just button up. So it's as easy as a zipper. And I feel like when they are buttons and jeans like this, it's just, it looks more flattering because they shape to you better because they can like stretch a little bit more than a zipper would. So that's kind of why I like these in the waist. These are a size 25. They're 28L is in the length. So they do have a 30 if you are taller or a 32, I think. Um, but I would say if you are under 5'4", 5'3", definitely go for the 28. Um, in length and these are 25 so like I said I it really depends on the pair of pants in terms of my waist size 
but these are pretty true to size so I think right now I really am a 25 if they run in the bigger size I'll get a 24 but these are definitely true to size so these specific denim forum pants definitely order true to size in the Arlo high rise so I love these but yeah that's all for my staple jeans and jean collection that I wear all the time. I have a lot more denim than just those, but those tend to be the ones that I will wear on a go-to basis, and honestly, I could probably get rid of the rest of my denim, but I definitely have some that are more of like a staple piece and like a mesh with one type of outfit and or for more special occasions. But these are definitely the ones I would throw on for everyday purposes and definitely recommend if any of them suit kind of your style in terms of denim, highly recommend any of those. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and please let me know what else and what other types of videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And of course you guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.